former president who wants to be president again is, you know, I think he's got a broomstick he's riding on as well. <laughs> it's not always Air Force, whatever, whatever they call the retired one. Um, but he showed up in East Palestine, Donald Trump touring the Ohio town near where the freight train carrying toxic chemicals derailed. Mr. Trump decided to pass out. They need bottled water and he passed out the Trump branded water. Okay, is there really Trump branded water? Maybe, watch this. Uh, especially thank some of the incredible people that uh, helped us because we're bringing thousands of bottle of water, Trump water actually, most of it. Uh, some of it we had to go to a much lesser quality water. <laughs> you want to get those Trump bottles, I think, more than anybody else. But we're bringing a lot of water, thousands of bottles. We really want the Trump brand. Didn't they have steak or something at one point? I believe someone tested that as well. and. Wasn't that the cut they promised? But anyway, um, during his event here, Mr. Trump also went on a tangent about college football. That you know, it reminds me a little bit. I don't know if you remember when Ohio State wasn't going to be playing football for another season. They were going to sit back and uh, watch with the China virus or COVID, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I called the head of the Big Ten, Big Ten football. I said, "You got to get this football open." And they were great. They responded, and Ohio State played that season. Nobody remembers that, I think, right? Does anybody know? You got at least one. At least one. You could have been close, but by now you still would be close, probably. But we got that open very early, and uh, you had a great season of football, to put it mildly. So that was a very great honor, the Big Ten. And that led to the NFL, and it led to most of the rest of football in the country. But you led it through Ohio State and Big Ten. And we got that done. I, I did that very personally. I called the commissioner and he did a good job. What are you talking about? And why are you talking about it at this event? Why are you doing this? Well, you might filibuster too to keep the focus off of what you did as president and how you gutted regulations that perhaps caused all of this. One thing Trump did not mention, the train safety regulations he gutted as president. He very actively did this. Amongst the biggest relevant regulatory rollbacks Trump has conveniently remained mum over is the 2018 scrapping of a 2015 Obama era rule requiring advanced braking technology on trains transporting particularly hazardous materials. That rule would have required compliance by certain trains by 2021, others by 2023. But as Fortune reported at the time, Trump's Department of Transportation decided that the cost of installing these more sophisticated brakes outweighed the benefit. The other rules scrapped by the 45th president were for recurring safety audits of railroads and the requirement of having at least two crew members board freight trains. Though the Norfolk Southern train that derailed had three crew members aboard. Political notes that in regard to the two member rule, the Trump administration claimed a train crew staffing rule would unnecessarily impede the future of rail innovation and automation. <laughs> Why is this guy showing up down there? Why are you showing up where people don't know if they can plant a vegetable garden, take a shower or do anything? The audacity, right? The audacity and the privilege that you stand there, you bring this, this Trump water. I wanna know how much it costs. How much does it cost? And where do you really get the water? Probably got donated. Anyway, you show up there when your administration is perhaps to blame for some of this. And you say nothing about it. Why do people accept this blowhard mentality? Mm -hmm. Francesca, why? Yeah, the blowhard, the grift, like you gotta be a massive POS mm. to go to a place that is toxically poisoned and then tell people that you're selling your Trump water or that you're giving it out of the goodness of your heart. Remember, it's Trump water. This is like helping someone who is drowning with like, you know, a life raft that's like, hey, that's a Trump life raft right there, buddy. Remember that? You're like, oh my God, I'm dying. Like, I like it is. And yet, this is what his base has been trained to accept and actually to even um, 
laud and admire about him that he is an unrepentant selfish a-hole who will use any opportunity to sell you his merch including this one and yeah and the reason that he can do this is because no one is going to bring the receipts no one in that town most likely who is power um definitely uh, not north uh, norfolk southern themselves no one's going to remind you that it was thanks to trump that these regulations and rollbacks even happened and that that's the reason that like breaking systems much needed breaking systems on massively long trains that got even longer under the trump administration that are carrying toxic chemicals do not have adequate brakes when something like this happens when like an axle burns out right um so so it's just it's so scary and it would be honestly it would be satire if it weren't so scary yeah yeah it's, we don't know i understand epa is on the scene and we're to, Norfolk Southern's gonna clean it up. We're gonna charge them triple damages, whatever. We won't know perhaps for many decades what this means for the yeah. people in that town, surrounding areas. You know, water travels too, by the way, okay? The <laughs> tributaries, everything. We won't know, okay? And it's gonna take an Aaron Brockovich type effort to try to figure it out and hold people accountable here. I just don't. Understand, I can't fathom why he didn't show up to jeers and rotten food being thrown his direction. Okay, yeah. he still has Secret Service protection. So he said, don't disclaimer, don't do that. Okay, don't show up and throw rotten apples at him. You'll probably he be arrested. He does hate that though. Okay. Oh my God, Sharon, I don't know if you've heard him rant about the vegetables. They were throwing <laughs> fruit, they had tomatoes. Seriously, one time I think protesters <laughs> threw fruit and he's like, and he called it doing fruit. When you do fruit, it's very dangerous to do fruit. Um, oh, that's fantastic. He was entertaining, let's be real, still is. But also, sorry to interrupt, so senile. Like, yeah. no ageism involved in this, but we all recognize senility when it is setting in. And I, to quote a National Review, again, a conservative uh, mm. reporter who has just been looking at Trump's Truth Social wow. um, tweets for a while, and this is not my words. This is this person's words, but called him, he is ranting like a crazy hobo. That's yeah. literally what he said. And I'm like, <laughs> look, I don't believe in using that kind of language yeah. when it comes to the unhoused, but damn if he is that they're not He's correct. unwell. He's, He's unwell. unwell. You understand? He's unwell. Okay. Uh, but we uh, wish the people in Ohio there, East Palestine, uh, well. And we do have to pay attention to what's going on here. Not an orange distraction. No, yes. no good's going to come of that.